not Aquila. That must be Mimo and Daniela. Yes, this is where we make art things, but I think it's better we begin from, from the beginning. This is the splitting machine. You put your gut, that is a tube. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and uh, this blade, round blade, cut, it's been in, cut a, in, stripes. in many stripes. It is able to produce something like a two uh, thousand ribbon per hour. Wow. It's a very big quantity. This is the room for us. Wow. This is the room when we work with fresh gut. Yes. <laughs> this is where. It is under salt, like uh, those for sausages. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I see. And this part of the work is what uh, all the women want to do. And we wash them. No smell, no, it is a fresh meat. And we cut the knot of them, so we have all the same length. It's not a tube anymore. No, no, it's, it's uh, been split. But uh, we are just at the beginning of, uh, of the production because it needed 15 days of a full work to change the properties. Three stripes, we have a first string of a violin, which is a first string of a ukulele. What they normally did in the 50s was to take the first and the second string of a violin, cut them in half, and they had the first string and fourth string of a ukulele. What we do, you imagine here we have a big bundle of 100 stripes all together. We count them. I take these three stripes of the ukulele string, I match them, take the three of them, I take this and knot them. Mm -hmm. Then I hang it here and this goes to there. It's very long, you imagine it's oh. very long. Goes okay. to here and have it on another one of these, here. So, this is what I do. This is the gauge of the first string of a ukulele when it is still wet. Then, we put it over there on the big frame, yeah. and we add other twistings. Okay. By this machine. Wow. There is a woman on that side. Always a woman? I love it. Yes. <laughs> This yeah. is uh, the longest string. You imagine many strings of fresh gata here, here. Bring with one, another one, and more. Etc. There, are, there is a, a table with uh, how many turns I must do, and then. Up. And then you put it on the frame. Okay. It has to take its time to dry, not uh, too fast, otherwise, it doesn't take the twisting evenly. I see. When they are dry, the, the gut is uh, cylindrical, cylindrical yes. but not completely polished, uh, smooth, I mean. It's not smooth, ah, it's very regular. It's rough. Okay. Then go to the centerless machine. Okay. Yes, that is, yeah. When a gut dry, yes. the diameter drop a lot. Yes, sure. Because there are something like 95% of water. water. So this is the machine here, takes the strings right. and it pushes it into the tube there. Yes. And this one, it goes very, very fast, uh -huh. 2,000 rounds per minute, yes. and uh, it polishes the string. It takes the string, that's it, Woo! and then we can do the test to, to check if it is a true or false. Now, this is a true, so it is a for my banjo ukulele, for sure. <laughs> we use that machine also for polished Nigat, oh, okay. uh, because of other music they ask for polish at Nigat. Well, uh, this musician asked me uh, a cello C. Okay, the right diameter, already dried. Pour mm -hmm. a silver. This string is for Johann Sebastian Bach music. Okay.
Okay, it's well done. Beautiful. Cello 4. It's very big machine. I see, I the see. The sweet about machine is that. So it goes G, no, G, no, G. I need the, the four tenor large string for my ukulele. Wow. Look at that. By experience, uh, you are able to produce a very good string, better than uh, those ma made by automatic machines. Mm. Sometimes you needed to produce up and wound. This is the is open wound. Yes, to show you. You can see the difference. The space is exactly the diameter of the metal. Wow. It's open. Yeah, open and the, the evenly open. Yes, it is closed. Wow, cool. I see. We do double bass string. When you are in the halfway, the string starts to sound. Oh, goodness. The vibration is wow. like a bigger fish. Really? The string became in life. You hear different sounds. Sure. The string, strings are light. Stop. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 200 kilometers. 200 uh, millimeters on one, each one spool. spool. Yes, we can go around the world with all this Nagato oh, to the moon. Fly me to the moon. This is a 1,000 ukuleles. Wow. Incredible. Uh, it, it is necessary to produce a big quantity to drop the price of the, the raw material. Multi filaments. It is a multi filament made of Nagato. Right, I see. Yes, Ooh. because of the sound is. Uh, Different than the yeah. standard nylon. Dip it. Dip Just after the festival. <laughs> that will come down. Yes, we have some good pouring. <laughs> but maybe not here. Sale Vecchia mm. is the name of the place. So you're place. saying that Sal Salavecchia yes. is, is the town where, where all, all the famous all, this family, all the families of the string makers come from throughout the world. Yes. And you were talking about Savarez and Savarez, Pirastro, La Bella Mari, uh, Dardario, yes, and uh, Galli, yeah, uh, Di Russo. And they all came from this place. Yes, he's 85 now. Made strings for all of his life. Wow. And these are workmen, and uh, this Mario da Dario is, uh, lives in Australia. Oh, really? In uh, 1952, he went to Australia okay. and uh, he became a farmer. These are some pictures of tools, uh, and this is from a 1721 treatise, mm. and this is the one that they made for us. 1685 in Germany. And that, that this just is like the Diderot d'Alembert, Pinaroli, 1721 in Rome, and this is what we found there. Really the same. The first Italian ukulele festival finished yesterday. Isn't <laughs> yes. that incredible luck? Yes, we had a wonderful weather for the festival, even too hot, and now it's raining and it's and it's hailing hailstones. Storm. So thank you so much, Mimo and Daniel, for contacting us so that yes. we could be here and also to visit your factory here. And uh, it's really, really interesting for us. We use your strings and enjoy them. It's amazing to see where it all comes from. So how do you feel about the, how the festival went? What was your experience? It was so nice. All the people in Vicenza didn't even know what was a ukulele till uh, three days ago. And now everybody is walking in Vicenza with ukuleles asking people, do you know how to play it? Can you teach me how to play it? <laughs> well, you are English very fluent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.